I said, remember last year? I said, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> and someone said, thank you to Dr. Pete Vitale, who is doing an extraordinary job and trying to do CP here today. And it's nice to be here with all the leaders. Look at this good looking guys. He's all pumped up. Uh, okay. <laughs> Man, this guy's tough. Hey, hello, everybody. Good to see you. It, uh, this is like the 21st year that you're not part of the Arnold's Classic. And this is something to celebrate. I think that you're very lucky. We are celebrating our 25th year anniversary. Not to do a half competition here in Columbus, Ohio, because that did between 1976. So for 37 years. But first we had the Mr. Olympia competitions here, the Mr. Universe competitions, the National, Mr. International, all of this, then we had them all together here and all this. Then eventually we did it so many years that they got jealous and other cities and other countries also wanted to hold those competitions. And so we had to give it up. And that's when we created the Arnold's Classic uh, 25 years ago and said, okay, this is one competition they can never take away because I make that decision. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got in sanctioned by the IPB, and since then we have the, the 25 years of wonderful growth. And uh, you know, we started out literally with, uh, with 20 bodybuilders, the first competition way back in uh, 1976. And today we have 20,000 athletes here. Well, think about it, the Olympics have anywhere between 9 and 11,000 athletes. We have 20,000 athletes. I just came. From the, uh, to the first time we have the survival game, uh, there's a competition where you go for survival, climbing, going through mud, and swimming through water, and all kinds of crazy things that these people do. Tough, tough people, kids out there, women out there, 2,000 of them competing in the survival game. So we had 80,000 athletes, but now with those 2,000 competing, we have now 20,000 participants, competitors in our Arnold's Classic Fitness and Sports Festival and Weekend. So it just shows you the growth that is going on. And we were honored yesterday because uh, we contributed around $45 billion to the local economy because of these competitions. We literally occupy 100 hotels here in town and uh, we're all over the place. We have 200,000 people coming to the Fitness Expo over this four day period. So it just shows you the enormous growth. us so happy is that, that we recognize the fact that it's not my doing, it's not the Norma's doing, it is all of our doing. Everyone together is making this such a great success. And of course, the International Chiropractors Association has been part of it, uh, for, like I said, for 21 years. And you have been, you've had such a great organization that has started in, I think, 1926, if I'm not uh, mistaken. I mean, this goes back a long time. I mean, when you started this organization, the Dead Sea was called, it was still sick. <laughs> it just shows you how old this organization is. Exactly. What would you like about the organization? I mean, this started as if the world was still flat. I mean, this is really, this has been going on for a long time. And you have been helping people around the world with their problems. And this is why, and this is what the Fitness Weekend is all about, is promoting health and promoting fitness not just to promote what we did, but what we do, which is to compete in bodybuilding and to have the biggest arms and the biggest biceps and the biggest calves and the most cut body. That's not for the general public. We recognize that. What we want to do is we want to inspire people through this competitive bodybuilders to go and have the general public be out there and say, I also want to work out. I also want to get in shape. And then, of course, when people get in shape and then they exercise and then they do their things, you get injuries. I mean, God, I've had more surgeries than anyone can think of, and injuries. Every year I need a chiropractor, five times a year I need a chiropractor to help me. Physical therapist, surgeon, you need people, that's why you have these people there available. And I know firsthand from Franco, Colombo, you know, that what a great contributions chiropractors make. How many people from Hollywood go to his practice every day? from morning to night, even days when he normally is not open, he has to go to the office or he has to go to their place and he has to help those people. And I just want you to know how proud I am of Franco Colombo. And you all know Dr. Franco Colombo, right? But Dr. Franco, I was going to bring him, 
because he's going to show up. I know he's going to show up. Keep the boss, baby.